Hello and welcome to West Country Wanderings. Today we're in the delightful Dartmoor village of Dunsford. It's a beautiful village with many thatched cottage and white painted buildings here. So we're going to have a look around. Wonderful setting. It's like going back in time. So why not join me here on West Country Wanderings here in Dunsford. Dunsford is on the northern edges of Dartmoor and it lies between the city of Exeter and the town of Oakhampton but it's nestled right in the, uh, the moor part of Dartmoor if you like surrounded by moorlands, streams and wood and we're also on the edge of the Teen Valley I'm just actually waiting for the heart of the village to, to clear a little bit because um, there's the school run going on at the moment. There is a primary school right in the heart of the village and obviously there's uh, all the parents are dropping the children off and obviously I don't want to film any of that. Just waiting for that to clear and then I'll uh, take you around the, uh, the heart of the village proper. It has a pub or an inn called the Royal Oak Inn. Not sure the age of that one. I'm also not sure if um, the properties around here, I think a lot of them is a bit of a, a Miseden situation where they're all owned by one trust and then they're then rented out. I think that applies to a lot of the properties because they're all in the same style and they had the same porches and the same style of uh, roof as, we, as you'll see shortly. Now Dunsford used to have its own railway station. It was called Dunsford Holt and one of the reasons it wasn't that successful is because it was situated some two miles from the village here. I have had a look, there's an excellent website called Disused Stations, I think it's disusedstations.org, I'll drop a link in below. And somebody from that website did a survey back in 2006. All they could find was a pile of rubble and a few sleepers. Uh, even the little platform has sadly has now been demolished. But yes, it was on the, the Tain Valley line, which ran from Exeter through Chestow over towards Heathfield, which lies just north of Newton Abbott, a met up with a line coming down from Morton Hampstead. Indeed, they have talked about doing that line again as one of the possible options as a diversion for the sea wall line that runs along South Devon through Dawlish, which gets flooded, as I'm sure you're probably aware. But because the line has been now reopened to Oakhampton, as you'll see on my video coming up on this channel very, very soon, one of the reasons I'm in uh, Devon and Cornwall this week, uh, I don't think that is now going to, to go ahead. We're also not that far from the large National Trust property here called Castle Drogo which over the past few years has been undergoing extensive maintenance to its roof.
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's short tour of the Dartmoor village of Dunsford. There'll be another video along on my channel, West Country Wanderings, before too long. I'm talking quietly, sorry, because it's early on a Sunday morning. I've just done this video over a couple of days, and I think my sun's just gone 8 o'clock, so it's really early at the moment. And I'll see this cottage is around, so, so sorry for the volume. I'll try and tweak that in post-production. Anyway, until next time, take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, and hope to see you all again very soon. Cheers now. Thank you.